How do you find clients for your copywriting business? In this video, I'm going to show you how to attract clients to your copywriting business. So if you're looking to start selling copywriting services to your customers, or if you're starting out and you want to increase the number of clients that you're attracting, or maybe you've been going for a while now and you just want to scale out the number of clients that you work with, I'm going to share with you my super simple system for attracting clients to your marketing funnel business. It's a very high level overview, but I think you're going to get a lot from this. If you're a funnel builder, go ahead and click subscribe and the little bell notification icon down below because it helps me out and it shows you whenever I release a new video like this showing you how to attract more clients and sell your marketing funnel services to customers. The problem is finding out, the problem is where do you find clients to start with? If you're starting from scratch or if you feel you've exhausted the majority of your streams for lead generation and client acquisition, where do you find new customers? And that's what I wanna talk about today. I think a lot of copywriters make the mistake of doing cold calling or cold email, which can work. The truth is it can work, but I actually think that there's a time and a place for it or going on something like Fiverr and Upwork, which is a huge waste of time. So what I wanna do is share with you my process for attracting clients. It doesn't even cost a huge amount of money. In fact, in some cases it can be for free and I wanna show you how to attract those clients. You are at some point gonna to have to change your mindset around what it is that you do or how you work, but that's what we're going to talk about on today's video. First thing I need to ask you is, are you even ready to attract clients? The number one thing, it's something like 12% of the responses I get through all of the surveys and the data collection that I do is people asking to attract clients. It's actually probably more than that, but specifically they just say, help me get clients or getting clients. And if I said to you, okay, I've got a hundred people here ready to buy, they've got their credit cards out and they're ready to buy it. Could you service all of them? Most copywriters would say, absolutely not. There's no way that I'd be able to service that. By the way, really quickly, if you're looking for a proposal template, just head over to sellyourservice.co.uk forward slash proposal. And that will actually give you my proposal template that I use for writing out like copywriting services and closing the customer, which is gonna become useful kind of later on in this video and process. Go ahead to sellyourservice.co.uk forward slash proposal or use the link down below. But in the meantime, let's talk about removing friction so that you can get more clients. And when people say there's no way I'd be able to handle 100 clients, that's the problem, right? You're not even ready or willing to be able to capture that many clients. So we're gonna start with your website and your website needs to have three specific things and we'll talk about what that is. We need some kind of free training, we need some kind of free 15 minute call and we need some kind of discovery page which is paid for. If you don't have any of those in your website, that's ultimately what we're gonna be building out today. I'm also gonna talk a little bit about traffic attraction through Facebook ads. But what I want you to do is think about does your website offer outside of the boring bullshit contact us page? Is there a method for you to be able to direct people to face to face and say, oh, if you want to work with me, just head over to website.com forward slash strategy and we can actually do a quick paid strategy session. Or if you just want their phone number and their email address so you can follow up with them later, which kind of spoiler alert is my favorite way of generating leads. Just head over to website.com forward slash free training or call and we'll just take your name and your email address and your phone number and we'll follow up with you later. So the first question you need to ask is, are you even ready and willing and able to capture more leads and clients for your business? Because it's not all about the one-to-one -one stuff. You have to be able to scale this out and that's where you need to start. So let's jump over to the whiteboard here. This here is your website. As you can see, I went to website design school, which is why it looks so fantastic. And most people have got that kind of, as I talked about earlier, that bullshit like contact us page. And those are actually useful and they are used quite commonly. However, they're most visited, but they don't have a very high conversion rate. The reason for that is it asks for the customer to do the work. They have to get in contact with you and say something like, hey, we're looking to work with a copywriter. I've heard that you're good. We've got a recommendation through or we saw your YouTube video or whatever. And instead, I wanna flip this and offer three methods for us to be able to capture any kind of content or any kind of, and instead I wanna offer three methods to be able to capture leads and clients from any traffic that come to your site. So the first thing that we're gonna do is on your website, you're gonna have a button or some kind of link that basically says free training. And what you're gonna do is offer some kind of 
content or video or instructional course on how to do the thing that you do. If you have a specific niche that you go after, maybe you specifically help people Facebook ads for Kickstarter launch products, then you need to say, I've got some free training here on the ultimate uh, guide to launching a product on Kickstarter using Facebook ads. So you need to have some kind of ultimate guide or training. It can just be a video, it can be a few slides, it can be a download, it can be a case study, it doesn't matter. You need to have a page here that basically captures their information because that's what you will become best known for. And this was something that we did when I ran the agency is we had a, ours on specifically was how to grow an email list by a thousand people if you have a, a membership site. And we had a free piece of content, we had a blog post, but we also had a free piece of content. And I said, if you just head to media.com forward slash 1000, it will show you how to generate a thousand email addresses. And that was a really good way for us to be able to start attracting leads into our website. But because we had it on our website here, just saying free training, people clicked on it because they liked something for free. So that takes them through to that page. Then what we had is we had a strategy call. Now the strategy call was a 15 minute call. We used something called Calendly, but we actually just book, embedded the Calendly form. There's loads of other options available. I think Book Like a Boss is another one. And we had Calendly, a form where someone could basically book via a calendar, a 15 minute free call. And what we asked for is their name, their email address, and importantly, their phone number. Now you might think, but people don't wanna give a phone number. If they're looking for a 15 minute call, they're gonna expect a phone number. And they say, we do it via Zoom. That's not the point. The point is you are collecting contact information with which to communicate with them and follow up with them later. My favorite method, and I don't know why it's become so overcomplicated now and you've got, and I, I build funnels, I teach you guys how to sell funnels, but it's become so overly complicated now with, content forms and launch funnels and sideways sales letters and all this kind of shit. When actual fact, just getting someone's phone number, calling them up, you will close them faster than anyone. So we want their name, we want their phone number, and we want their email, and then they can book a 15 minute call. And all that is a qualification call. And again, what you're able to do is with any of your communication or follow-up or cold emails, if you produce content, whatever it is, you can start directing people. Because then on your homepage, so if this is your main menu up here, on your homepage, you actually have a button. You could even embed this inside the homepage saying, look, this is our 15 minute call. Now you will get few, if any, cold to 15 minute calls. Very unlikely to get cold to 15 minute calls. Here's what you can do, however. If we start driving traffic to your homepage or to this page here, after they have taken the free training or whatever, we can either redirect them to the free call or after they have watched it, follow up with them later via email marketing and you could even try and get their phone number on this one here as well, which you don't have to try that, but it might be an idea. Email them to get a free call, uh, 15 minute call later. This is how you start automating and booking up that Calendly system and booking up your calendar with calls. At one point, Mark and I, our problem was not lead generation. We were qualifying and closing people too quickly. Our problem was finding reliable suppliers to deliver the work that we had sold. That was our main problem. That was our biggest kind of joke is we had no problem with doing client attraction. It's because we had scaled the process whereby even the low levels of organic traffic that we were getting to the site with no paid advertising or anything, they were coming through, clicking the free training, or if Mark and I had met someone out there, out and about, we could say, oh, by the way, yeah, just head to media.com forward slash call, and we'll get a quick free minute, uh, 15 minute call. And what it meant is that we could then continue networking and not having to do it there and then and collecting business cards and all this kind of bullshit. We would even have it on our phone ready to go and say, hey, I can book you in now. What's your email address? What's your phone number? And I'll send you a time and a link for you to be able to go to. That's how you start scaling out this lead generation process. And the third and final thing is you wanna have an area that basically says something like strategy. And this is gonna be a paid page whereby you are, again, through Calendly, through Book Like a Boss, whatever, doesn't matter, you have a paid session, which is a $500, let's say $497, for example, paid session, where they get to book a time and a place, they put in their name and their email address, 
And this means that anyone who has gone through that call, that process, that system, and they've said, yeah, this is interesting. I want to continue working with these guys. You need to be able to say, if you actually just head over to website.com forward slash strategy or forward slash whatever, you can actually book a call and a time to work with us and we'll go through one of our two hour strategy sessions in order to build out a plan and find out what it is that you need within your business. Again, we're just trying to continually reduce the friction that your customers are having to experience in order to buy. Other copywriters have backwards and forwards, they send proposals, they send templates, they send emails, they have to do bank transfers. The number one rule of sales is make it as easy as possible to take the customer's money. The more barriers you put up, of course, the less likely they are to buy. So make sure that you have a paid page as well. And now I wanna talk really briefly on the kind of the traffic attraction strategy that we used on Facebook. What we would do is we would create cold audiences. That says coald, that's fine. We create cold audiences and we would just target a bunch of different interests. Now, let's say that you work specifically with people who want to do Facebook advertising for their Kickstarter business, okay? You're gonna look at interests like Kickstarter, you're gonna look at interests like uh, startup, you're gonna look at interests like paid ads, you're gonna look at interests like launches, and you're gonna try and create a list of these. Now, I've got other videos out there showing you how to do it. If you head to audiencer.io, or I've got a link down below as well, uh, I can also redirect you to a tool that helps you discover those interests. And you wanna create a campaign, and what I have been using, which seems to be working at the moment, is a lead campaign, which basically shows the form inside Facebook, and I say, I wanna only show this to people who are interested in Kickstarter and that's it and I say yeah they're between whatever it is 25 and 55 I actually don't go too specific I just have the interest that they're interested in and I'll have that under one campaign and then I'll show the exact same lead form ad and this basically offers this free training now it could either be a lead form ad that has that collects their information and via Zapier I you know send them it via active campaign or whatever or it's an ad a traffic driving ad that drives traffic to that page. You're gonna to have to test which one do you want. Uh, and the other one might be exactly the same, but instead of Kickstarter, in this particular time, I'm gonna look at people who are interested in startups. And the next one is gonna be people who are uh, business managers or business owners. And some of these are gonna generate leads, some of them aren't. And if you start generating leads at, let's say you start generating leads at $5, okay? and your paid consultation session is $500. And if you got 100 leads and you paid 500 bucks for those leads, and you got one of them to convert, so one out of 100, so a 1% conversion rate, to buy a paid strategy session, you've essentially paid for all your leads and you've got someone who's a customer. You've also got 100 leads who you can continue to market to in the future because they've given you their contact information via this page or maybe even via the free call. Don't overcomplicate this. Make it as easy as possible to capture information from customers. And that is my very basic process for how I would capture clients for my brand new copywriting business. If you're looking for clients, this is how you wanna do it. A really simple process of setting up those three pages and then starting to drive traffic to either the free training page or even a lead form page and following up with them later. 99% of the time when I work with funnel builders and when I've worked with other businesses, even big businesses, follow up is the reason they don't have clients. They actually don't have a problem with leads. They don't have a problem with traffic. What they have a problem with is following up with customers. But if you're looking for a process for attracting them, make sure you have an easy page to capture leads and an easy page to capture sales as well. If you're looking to write killer proposals for customers who actually do wanna go all the way, make sure to head over to sellyourservice.co.uk forward slash proposal or use the link down below and that will give you my template that's won something like 93 million dollars worth of business for different funnel builders which is absolutely insane if you are a funnel builder go ahead and click subscribe and if this video was useful give me a thumbs up as well it really helps the channel out and hit the little bell notification icon to be notified when i produce new videos like this helping funnel builders like you attract more clients and sell more services i've got another video here by the way on actually how much you should charge 
charge for your copywriting services. So if you're new to this and you're figuring out what you should be pricing your services at, go ahead and check out that video and I talk you through the framework for how to set up the price that's fair, that's justifiable, how to deal with people who say that you're too expensive, as well as how to figure out what you need to price your services for copywriting at. In the meantime, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Massively appreciate you being on the uh, video. In the meantime, I will see you on the next video. Have courage, commit, and take action.